In this video, we're going to be looking at solving equations. Okay, so here I've got a weighing balance. And you can see here, it's equal on both sides, hence it's balanced. Now, equations is more or less similar to this situation. At the moment, everything on each side is exactly the same weight. Uh, don't ask me how that apple got there, but I kind of needed it to keep it balanced. It wasn't working right. But yep, it's balanced now. Awesome. So how does this work? Now, if I took an X away on the right hand side, so if I got rid of it, what do you reckon will happen? Now you should have said the left hand side is going to get heavier and start going down. Let's see what happens when we do that. Now look at that. It's not balanced anymore because I took something off the right hand side and it became lighter. So the left hand side became heavier because to start off with, they were the same weight on both sides. So what do I need to do now to keep it balanced again? Apart from putting the X back, so I don't want to do that. So what else can I do to get it balanced again? Now you should have said take X off the left hand side because that sounds like a brilliant idea. Let's see what happens when you do that. Now, isn't that lovely? Back to balanced again. Now that's how equations work. If you do something on one side, you have to do the same on the other side because equations are always equal to each other. That's why they have an equal sign in the middle. So to keep an equation, you must do the same to both sides. That's the big thing about solving equations. So let's try this on an equation then, see how it works. Okay, so here I've got x plus seven equals 10. Now, I want to get rid of that plus seven because with equations, we need to just get x on its own. That's our aim. So how do we get rid of that plus seven? We're gonna subtract seven, but remember we have to do it to both sides. So let's do it on the left-hand side and there, We've got rid of that plus seven, so just X on its own. Now just remember to do the same on the right hand side. So 10, we need to subtract seven from there as well, and that makes it three. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to look at some more examples. Okay, it says solve for X. All that means is find out what X is. Let's look at the first one. Now it says three X is 21. You should know what three X is. 3x means three times x, or you can say x plus x plus x, but that's not nice to say. So we just say 3x. Now to get rid of the three on the x, we have to do the opposite operation. Now that three I said is multiplying the x. What's opposite to multiplying the x? And you should have said divide. So to get rid of that three, we need to divide it by three. So I'm gonna to go to that three x and divide it by three, and of course, you've done the opposite of times three, you've divided by three, so the three just disappears. Now, if you understood what I was doing before with the weighing balance, you should say you must divide the right-hand side by three as well, since I divided the left-hand side by three. And that's a must. So, I've got 21 here. What's 21 divided by three? I'm hoping you guys said seven. And look, it's brilliant. We know what X is now. X is seven. Now, doesn't that feel magical? Let's see if we can do it again. So here I've got five X equals 25. Now, I don't want that five on the X. What is that five doing to the X? Yes, it's multiplying the X. The five is multiplying the X. So I wanna do the opposite to get rid of it. I'm going to divide it by five. Since at the moment it's multiplying by five, what we're going to do is, divide it by five. And if I divide that five X by five, I get just X. Just be clear, the five went away because it was multiplying by five, we divided by five, which is the opposite operation. And it cancels it out. Now, remember we have to do the same to the right hand side. So 25 divided by five, you know your times tables. You should have said five. Let's look at the next one. Okay, so if you've got the gist of the game, we're trying to always get X on its own. We're trying to get X equals so we know what X is. Now, if I want to get X equals, what's stopping me here is that plus five. How do I get rid of that plus five? Yes, 
I subtract 5 because the opposite of plus 5 is subtract 5. So if I subtract 5 from the left hand side, that plus 5 just simply disappears. Awesome, it's gone from the left hand side. Now, using that rule of solving equations, we must also do the same to the right hand side. So if I subtract 5 on the right hand side, what do I get? I get 7. 12 minus 5 is 7. You see, I've subtracted 5 from both sides. And brilliant, we know what x is now. It's 7. Okay, let's look at the next one. So I've got plus 3 here. That's what I want to get rid of. Because when I get rid of that plus 3, I'm just simply going to have x alone on the left-hand side. So it's going to be x equals, and that's my aim. So how do I get rid of plus 3? Go ahead, shout it out. And you should have said subtract 3. So let's get rid of that 3 from there. Leaves us with just x. Now don't forget, you need to do the same to the other side. So subtract 3 from there gives us 4. Okay, this time it's a little bit different. There's a minus 5 there. And we don't want it there. We just want x on its own. So what is the opposite of minus 5 then? I'm hoping you said plus 5. So if I plus 5 to the left hand side, the minus 5 will go away since they're opposite operations. So far so good. That minus 5 is gone. So I need to also do the same to the right hand side. And if I do that, 11 plus 5 is 16. Brilliant. Okay, so here I've got x over 6 equals 3. <clears throat> now what does that over 6 means? The line you have in fractions always means divide, by the way, if you didn't know that. So x over 6 means x divided by 6. You should now be able to tell me how to get rid of that divide 6. So you should have said multiply by 6. And if you multiply the left hand side by 6, it gets rid of that divide 6. Now don't forget to multiply the right hand side by 6 also. So 3 times 6 is 18. And look there, we also know what x is now. Okay, so now we've got a little bit trickier questions. So remember the name of the game is to find out what x is. And you do that by getting x on its own. Now, what should we get rid of first? Should we get rid of that 2 on the x? Or should we get rid of that plus 3 first? We should get rid of that plus 3 first. And how do you get rid of that plus 3? You minus 3. Boom, it's gone from the left hand side. Now it wouldn't be fair if you don't do the same to the other side. So what did we do on the left hand side? We minus 3. So we're going to minus 3 from the right hand side too. And we got 10. Now it's not over. Remember the name of the game is to get x on its own. So how do you get rid of that 2? Now that 2 is multiplying the x. So do the opposite. Divide by 2. And that 2 is gone. All we now need to do is the same to the right hand side. Divide by 2 makes it 5. Okay, let's look at the next one. Again, we want to get rid of that 5 and that minus 1. And we're going to get rid of that minus 1 first. How are we going to do it? We're going to add 1, because that's the opposite of minus 1. And it's gone. Now, don't forget, same to the other side. You need to add 1 to the other side too. Nearly there. The last step, divide both sides by 5. So, in the next one, if you want to have a go on your own, just pause the video and try it. Okay, so let's do it together. So I'd say get rid of that minus 7 first. How do you get rid of minus 7? You add 7. And it's gone. Don't forget to add 7 on the right hand side. Brilliant. Last thing, get rid of that 3. And you divide both sides by 3. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. Okay. So here, again, if you want to pause the video and have a go, go for it. Okay. So I want to get rid of that minus 2 first. How am I going to do that? I'm going to add 2. And it's gone from that side, and we need to add 2 to the other side. One more step. Remember that 7 is times in the x, so we need to divide by 7. And the same, divide the right-hand side by 7. 28 divided by 7, it gives us 4. Okay, so now we're going to go for the really hard ones. These ones are really tricky because you've got x's on both sides. And remember, you want to get x alone on one side. You don't want x's on both sides. Okay, what I'm going to suggest is get rid of the x's from one of the sides. There's more x's on the left-hand side. So I'm going to get rid of all the x's on the right-hand side. So I'm going to get rid of that 2x there. How am I going to get rid of it? I'm going to subtract both sides by 2x. So what is 3x subtract 2x? Now, the way you want to think of that is just imagine it's 3 apples subtract 2 apples. 
you'd be left with one apple. So it's one X. However, when you have one X, you simply write X. You don't need to write the one in front of the X. I'm going to subtract two X from both sides. So on the right hand side, if I subtract two X from it, what happens to that two X? It's gone. And that's what I wanted. I don't want that two X on the right hand side. And I'm just left with seven. Now I need to do the same and subtract two X from the left hand side. Now, just earlier, we worked this out. So what is 3x subtract 2x? It's x. Don't forget, we still got that minus 1 there because we didn't do anything with it. Now, how do you get rid of that minus 1? You should have said it. It's plus 1. And it's gone from there. Now you need to plus 1 to the other side. Brilliant. We've worked our x's. x equals 8. Let's do another one. I'm going to let you guess what to do first. Yes, we want to get rid of that 2x because we don't want x's on both sides. Now we're going to get rid of that 2x by subtracting both sides by 2x. And boom, we've got rid of it. There's only 20 left. But we need to subtract 2x from the left hand side. Now, what is 5x subtract 2x? Remember, just imagine you've got 5 apples minus 2 apples. You'll be left with 3 apples. So it's going to be 3x. And of course, you've got that minus 7 still there because we didn't do anything with that. Now, how do we get rid of that minus seven? We add seven and it's gone from there. So we need to add seven to the other side. And last step, you should know this by now, you just divide both sides by three. Okay, if you want to have a go at this one, just pause the video and have a go. Right, what am I gonna get rid of first? It's this X here, because there's more X's on the other side. And I'm going to get rid of it by minusing x. And it's gone from there. Now, of course, I need to get rid of x on the other side. 11x subtract x leaves us with only 10x's. Of course, that minus 1 is still there. Now we need to add 1 to both sides to get rid of that minus 1. And we've done it. Just one more step. Divide both sides by 10. Now, what's 25 divided by 10? You should know when you divide it by 10, you just move the decimal place backward once. So it's there at the moment. It becomes 2.5. Okay, last one. Okay, there's a minus X on the right hand side. That's what I want to get rid of. So I'm going to do the opposite, which is add X. And it's gone from the right hand side. Of course, I need to add X to the left hand side. Because remember, I added X this time. I didn't minus X, I added X. So let's go ahead and add X to the left hand side. And the two still there as normal. We haven't done anything with that two. Now we're just going to get rid of that plus two by subtracting two from both sides. It's gone from there and subtract two from the right hand side. And last step, get rid of that six by dividing both sides by six. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.